Okay, we are ready to build our horizontal navigation. If you would like to have tabs going or boxes or links going across uh, horizontally, you can have that horizontal navigation. The first part of the screencast is going to be that. If you are interested in the vertical or sidebar navigation, we will have a screencast about that as well. I'm guessing if I try to fit this all into one screencast, it's just going to be too long. So, <clears throat> excuse me, there, there's uh, something in here for everyone. So first, um, this is the horizontal navigation that we're after, and I'll show you exactly how to do that. So here's the site that we've been building, and the very first thing that we need to do to get on the road to having horizontal navigation is to actually create the page. I know this sounds silly, but you have to create the page first before you can organize it. If you know all of your pages and all of the formats and all of that stuff ahead of time, then this is really the only window that you're concerned with, but most often times people aren't, at least I wasn't, because the ideas of what I wanted or how I wanted my site to operate uh, changed. And so therefore, sometimes I was deleting pages and adding pages for different purposes. And so therefore, um, there's another way to organize things if you're, you're not doing it all at once like we are. So I'm going to name uh, my page, and I guess I'm going to call this um, resources. So I name my page. I decide what kind of template I want my page to have. If, if it's a web page, if I want it to just be for announcements, if I want it to be a filing cabinet, that kind of thing, you decide that ahead of time. So if you are working with just these uh, pages going across the, um, the, the page, then you would say you want that at the top level. Okay. If you already know later on as you're building pages that you want something to go under this resources page and you want it to be a drop down or a sub page of um, your main page, then you would select put page under home if you knew you wanted under your home page or you might choose a different location as far as where you wanted it to go if you open this up um, a site map will open up you can see i've already created a lesson plans page here if there were more pages here they would be listed and then you could organize where you wanted that page to go there's another way to do that too later on and i'll show you how to do that so you decide on a template for our purposes today i am going to put the page at the top level and I am going to hit create and that will take us to the page that I've created. Here it is. It's named resources, right? I could change the name if I wanted to. I'm still in editing mode. So I could put things in here using the insert menu, which by the way, I don't know. I think I skipped over a bunch of things here, but look, you can insert a calendar. You can insert a document, a drawing, an entire folder, an image, you know, a video, um, something from Google Plus. Um, you can put something from your Google group, a Google Hangout button, so that someone could immediately upon pressing it, they start that. You can insert a Google map. Maybe you want a map that's uploaded to your website so that any school that's coming for an athletic contest knows where it is or that kind of thing. YouTube video. So there's, I left those off. Um, so if you're interested, you'll find those there. So let's say I'm done editing. Let's say I, I have this page filled with whatever it is that I want. Then you would need to save your page. So I'm at the site. I'm no longer in editing mode. Um, I, I want to figure out how I build these, um, these pages across. So I'm going to then um, go to, and let's do another couple pages here. I have lesson plans. I have resources. Let's do a couple more. Let's say that um, I have, um, oh, I don't know, book club. And I want a web page. I'm going to put it at the top level and create. We've got enough here now that I think we can go um, from there with. And I'm going to hit save. I'm done editing and all of that. I want to have enough pages here for you to understand how to do that. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Wheel of Fortune. We're going to go down to Edit Site Layout. And we need to make sure that our 
horizontal navigation is selected. If it's deselected, there's nothing we can do. So you do need to make sure that that is selected. Okay. So this is where your horizontal navigation would appear. So you would click on that and wow, what happened to all the pages? Where are they? Select pages to show. There's nothing there. Well, if you look, you need to actually drop down and you need to add them. Okay. So we're going to select the pages to add. I could do this. I could do this. Okay. And then hit OK. And they're going to come back. Okay. So what else do I want to see here? My recent changes. Oh, there's one. I would like that to go. Hit OK. Um, what else? Anything else? My recent changes. What do I have up there? Book club. Let's do lesson plans. Okay. So I have all my pages here. So when we built this, to start with, we built it as all on the top level. So all the way across, that's what I would see. But how do you create something that is a sub page or underneath? So we'll, we'll get there in just a second with these symbols over here. Um, boxes, tabs, or links, your decision right now. If I were to um, hit OK, they're going to appear as links. So let's just take a quick look at what they look like. So I found a resource that shows you these are boxes, these are tabs, and that's what I have in mind. I like the look of the tab. And finally, links with just isolated words and no box around them or anything like that. Okay, so here I have my, my pages that have been added. And let's say that I would like lesson plans to be a sub page of the book club. Then you would select the arrow. If it indents the page, then you have a sub page that's what creates that drop down here so if i were to click on student links um, all of these things are pages that are all listed under the book club so i've decided what design i want and then i'm going to hit ok so you can see my boxes have appeared okay and then you would need to hit close Oh my gosh, they're the same color as the rest of my page. It's really super boring. I'm in book club and I'm looking at my, um, my tabs going across. I could easily just navigate back to home, right? Here's my book club. Here's my home page with the things that we did earlier. Here's my lesson plans now as a sub page to that. So how do you go and change that so that it's a little bit more interesting to look at? Well, you would go under Manage Site. You would go under Themes, Colors, and Fonts. You would go down to Horizontal Navigation. And what this does is, so your background color of your um, tab, you could choose to go with the theme, which right now is, you know, not, not too attention getting. I could have none at all or I could customize the color of the tab that I wanted to match with what's going on up here if I chose to do that. Now, your text is black. If you choose a black background, it's going to disappear and you need to do something with the text and that's the next menu. So remember, there's lots going on in all these boxes here, so you have to really just click around and play and look at how things change and that will determine your uh, modifications to your pages. So the color of the background, let's say that I would like, um, hmm, I'll go with this color, okay? So you can see immediately what that's going to look like. So you don't have to work too hard to see what those changes um, would do to, to your site, okay? The hover color is if you were to just put your mouse over the um, link, what color does it change to? And so you decide, you know, to yourself, oops, what makes you happy with that? Um, and then you can go from there. Okay, so it'll change. And of course, we have to actually be out of editing mode in order to see that here. But um, same thing. So um, your text, what color do you want um, your, your text to be? What size? You can change the, the font 
you can change the the um, color of your lettering you can change the size of it when you hover it can pop out at you um, it can stay the theme you can have no hover color so you get the idea there's all kinds of things here for you when you're done you want to hit save to make those changes um, be um, you know, no longer in editing mode so that you don't exact, accidentally navigate away from that. So as I suspected, our screencasts are going to get too long if I try and do horizontal and vertical navigation all in one screencast. So you have to think like the person coming to your site. You have to think about what type of information do you want available and then organize. Do you want that at the top level? Do you want that underneath as a sub page to your tabs? Have fun building your horizontal navigation.